Good morning, it's Joe Neighbour at Signal Centre. It is uh, Thursday the 19th of September and just going to run through my chart setups on sterling for you today um, and with particular reference to sterling dollar. Um, so just going to start off with looking at sterling as a whole. I've talked about this in the past, how I look to analyse uh, particular markets. I look at it from a basket perspective initially. So what I have here is a, com a combination of all of these pairs that you can see in the watermark uh, times together and you can do that on trading view I'll put the code for this in the uh, in the notes uh, you type you, you whack it in there and basically you get this uh, combination of all the sterling pairs together so this is a weekly chart to start with so we've got a bullish kind of channel and um, we had a bounce down here as you can see and we broke up above this low uh, from December 2018 um, so my view was above there, we are bullish in the short term below, uh, we can expect a continuation lower. So then drilling down into the daily charts, uh, we've got the break of this channel here, uh, which contained price from May 2019 to when it broke uh, on the week, sorry, on the 27th, 22nd of August 2019. We've also got uh, an inverse head and shoulders pattern which broke on the move above 1236. Price is irrelevant, obviously it's a basket, it's not a tradable instrument, uh, instrument as it stands. Uh, we've got these lows here from February earlier this year. 50% um, of this move from the highs on the 6th of May to the lows to the 8th of August comes in here at 1505. That also coincides with the measured move of this inverse head and shoulders pattern. So that's where I'm looking to target in the short term. I think sterling could continue to head there. Um, yes, it may well be a bullish uh, a bull trap eventually or a dead cat bounce. Um, but in the short term, I think the momentum still remains bullish with sterling. Um, looking at the four hour charts, uh, we've got that inverse head and shoulders again uh, and again looking to target this 50% level or the measured move of the head and shoulders bottom um, that we've got there and obviously this short term trend remains bullish as it stands. So let's take a look at sterling dollar and my setup for that. So first of all the weekly chart, we've got this wedge pattern. Uh, and we had this big bullish outside candle that formed on the week beginning, so the week ending the second of second uh, uh, of September. Um, so for me, that was a pretty decent reversal signal. Um, so we made a new low below the lows there, and a new high above the high of the previous week to give us that outside candle. Uh, and then we've seen continued momentum from there. So in the uh, in the short term, I think we could see a retest of the uh, of the upper side of the wedge. Um, on the daily chart, I've got a 50% Fibonacci retracement from the highs on the 13th of March to the lows on the 3rd of September. That also coincides with the downtrend. So I think somewhere around there is where we could potentially move to in the short term before the sellers re-emerge. Um, on the four hour chart, we've got this sequence of higher, uh, sorry, yeah, higher lows. Um, and I'm looking to target potentially a 78.6% Fib level from the high here on the 25th of June again to this low here on the 3rd of September. Um, so you know it's not going to be a straight line move by any by any means, but I think that's where we could potentially head to. So I will be looking to buy dips in the short term up towards this level here, uh, or the levels that we've obviously mentioned here, which all come in between sort of 126 uh, hundred to 127 hundred. Um, now this is the hourly chart where I look to execute from. Um, I did take a long position yesterday in cable um, on this bullish candle here. Um, this was in, in fact in front of the Fed meeting um, and my initial stop loss was here at uh, 124.37. We got the initial move down so uh, and then that recovered so that was enough uh, of an excuse for me to move my stop up just to reduce risk and I put that to 124.43. Um, and then we had this move up higher, which didn't stick, unfortunately. So now what we formed is this triangle pattern, um, and it looks as though we're breaking lower. So we had this consolidation this morning. We had a push up here. I was hoping this was going to be the uh, lead to a break of the triangle, then I could target um, my first target up here at 125.85. Doesn't look like it's going to play out. It looks like we're going to break below this triangle, 
Um, when we had this consolidation move this morning, I actually moved my stop up to here to 124.57. So I took more off the table. I've just been stopped out on that. Um, so short term, I'm flat. I've got no position, but um, I still remain bullish and will be looking for opportunities to buy dips in the short term. Um, so that's just a roundup of my view as it stands at the moment on cable. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and got something from it, and I'll speak to you again soon. Cheers.